So moving on from the, uh, the equations I talk about, the, the bulk density and the unit weight, um, what we can define now is something called the specific gravity. Now, the specific gravity Uh, sometimes referred to as the particle density in some standards. Um, we can give it the, the symbol G subscript S. The specific gravity is um, essentially visualized as if, you'd, if I had a soil and I plucked out a, um, a grain of that soil, so the grain looks like that, and from that grain I, I managed to core out a small uh, cylinder of material. So out of that I took a small cylinder of material, of non-volume. Uh, and I put that on a balance and I measured its mass. And I divided it by its volume. What I'd be measuring is essentially the mass of the solid, and I'd be dividing it by uh, the volume that that little mass took up. So mass of the solid or the volume of the solid. This little bit of solid, by the way, not the whole solid, but... Um, and what I'd get out is the density of the solid. So that's... So the soil is made up of a whole range of different um, uh, minerals and organic matter that all have a range of uh, densities. So um, some, some minerals are denser than others, and organic matter is, um, is less dense than, than those, usually. Um, so this is... Um, really just the, the average um, uh, solid density that we have across uh, the average across all of these minerals and organic matter. Um, but if I take that solid uh, density and I divided it by the density of water, what I'd be defining is the specific gravity. It's really saying how uh, many times more dense than water your solid is in your soil. So from this table, you can see that uh, different materials have different specific gravities, things like your metals, iron and steel, uh, and, um, and gold have quite high specific gravities, and uh, rocks and minerals have, have uh, slightly lower the specific gravities than that, and organic matter has uh, lower even still. So you can see that soils are made up of a range of different materials, and they'll express a um, a specific gravity that's a, an average of those uh, of its uh, constituent parts. So soils tend to have specific gravity somewhere around two and a half to three. So a common misconception um, with specific gravity is that it's confused with the dry density. So we've already spoken about uh, what the dry density is. Uh, what I'd like you to do is go back um, to the previous video and, and go through this video again and make sure that you're clear in your mind that what the difference between specific gravity and dry density is.